It could just be friends reuniting, yet the survivors of the Tutsi genocide hardly know each other. Every April, just before the commemorations of the 1994 massacres, they prepare to face the ghosts of the past. I had a very large family, but they all perished in the genocides. May they rest in peace for eternity. Over 100 days, millions of Rwandans will gather across the country to keep memories of their loved ones, massacred 29 years ago, alive. It's always a tough time for survivors with mental health issues. The government says that a quarter of the population shows symptoms of post-traumatic stress. When people commemorate, heavy feelings can come up and flashbacks. Here we're trying to demonstrate this, so they're able to start commemorating with a stronger mindset. As well as discussions, the survivors group organizing these meetings hold prayers and physical activities to help those affected by trauma relax. When I saw my disabled little brother, who had injuries all over his body, I fell into a deep depression. I couldn't join in the commemorations, because I refused to meet the people who did that. I didn't even want to follow the ceremonies on the radio. Sometimes I turned it off and locked myself in the house, day and night. In Kigali, health professionals are also preparing for the commemorations. Every year, patients flock to the only psychiatric hospital in the city. Sometimes the agitation can be so intense, it can lead to a confused and depressive state, with significant suffering followed by deep depression. A more serious illness, such as psychosis, may develop during this time. Despite significant demand for treatment, Rwanda currently has only about 15 psychiatrists across the country.